as I. All praises to, to His Majesty, El Selassie, the first. So, two years ago, I did a report on this medical marijuana. I caught a bit of hell for it. You know, this is a fine example of how it works in our so-called system of democracy. We have people around us um, that have been misinformed. They're uneducated. Now, they might have PhDs, whatever. I'm not talking about that kind of education. I'm talking about real life experience. And they're easily led astray. They worship what they know not. And so, there is no living, breathing being. And they are not using their mind. It takes life to be able to think. And in our system, people, you know, haphazardly vote for these bills that they've been convinced are going to work for them in their life. Now, I mean, there's people that have become successful, but most of their success is based on what they see around them. For example, if somebody is living in a house, it's nice, what have you, and everyone around is living in houses that are falling apart, um, that person in the nice house is going to really think of themselves as some kind of a success. So in a lot of situations, it depends on your environment. It depends on how successful um, you are actually believed to be. Um, if you have a bill that's introduced as legalizing marijuana, um, people that have been misinformed or are illy educated will believe that it's going to benefit them if they perhaps like to have a smoke every now and then or maybe they eat a brownie or whatever. People in this frame of mind tend to see things as black and white cut and dry one way or the other and this is legalizing and if it's not fully legalization it's a step towards and then you know certain people say well no fully legalization is a bad idea it's going to get into the hands of kids well what do you have now that gets into the hands of kids pornography pharmaceutical and alcohol and tobacco the Number one killers, bar none. So, that trick's not working. Now, I know speaking from my environment in this county, the sheriff has proclaimed that if this marijuana legalization occurs that he foresees more arrests. He is expecting more arrests. And so you have to think, well, what kind of legalization is that? Well, it's the kind where people think it's legalization and it's really not. 
and they go around with a little tube and they say okay blow continuing on oftentimes my battery or my memory runs out one or the other and I have to either start the video over or you know whatever it's happened more frequently than I'd like to admit um, on my protests and um, hence the reason for lack of material in some situations but that's nobody's fault but my own I have to be more prepared um, I'm not a technology guru so I can really um, it's pretty much the last thing on my mind is you know charging a battery erasing memory and this and that but I'll go ahead and put these two videos together and we'll continue on with this discussion on the legalization of marijuana and uh, first to note that if you listen to public radio all the way up until now, it's been called pot, 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 pot heads, pot, pot, pot. But now there's a little incentive. They're getting money coming in from the Soros campaign. Because Soros is behind the push here in Florida for this new amendment, which will um, en engrave into stone, if you will, this new law. Um, which just means that you have to have another amendment to overturn it. Kind of like... Um, how the alcohol prohibition happened and then there had to be a separate amendment that people had to vote majority on to overturn. And this can be hard to overturn because people are thinking when they overturn this one, they're going to think, oh, we're, we're, we're making marijuana illegal again. Everybody's going to go back to jail. But as I stated, the sheriffs are predicting more people will go to jail as a result of passing this bill. They are interested in, in putting us into bondage. And, um, and so long as we're willing to go to bondage, um, that's where we probably should be. <clears throat> so my solution, because you can't, like, you know, eat, you know, whatever, ha have your cake and eat it too, um, is to pull out. You have to reject the way of the Babylon man. You cannot decide, well, I'm going to benefit by taking money, you know, welfare, let's say, on one hand, and on the other hand, I'm going to put my finger up. No. We need more power inside. Reject the Babylon man way entirely because as this medical marijuana is an example that this so-called democracy is voting us straight to hell where we will be putting our lives in more danger as a result. So if you would like to be in a dangerous situation, then it's the system for you. But if you prefer to be safe and secure, um, a democracy is not an option. Um, now, it doesn't mean that democracy couldn't work, but it's, it, it's incompatible with the common law system. It's not capitalism, because capitalism is kind of a vague term. Um, capitalism is, is, is certainly con contrary to majority rules, but democracy is not majority rules. It's majority of capital rules. <laughs> so it's really the common law that is a conflict with the democracy. Until you eliminate currency, um, you have to change the system of law if you desire to make the democracy work um, at least and stay safe at the same time so what we're, we're talking about medical marijuana here in florida if you pass this bill it allows specifically for five companies to control the, the oligopoly around the medical marijuana trade. Uh, one company 
I did some research on. It's called Grow Healthy LLC. Grow Healthy. Um, set to build the largest indoor um, marijuana uh, facility. We know indoor is just pollution on the earth. So as we're voting for this, we're voting for our further demise. It's great for very wealthy people with unlimited sources of capital that are, you know, ailing and they um, aging and, and they um, could, you know, use uh, some, some, um, some healing. Uh, yet for, again, the majority, 99.99%, it doesn't serve our interests. We would be better off to reject and, and wait for something real to come along that allows a real economy to be run by real people. Um, as far as we know, these five companies, they're international investors. If Soros is behind it, and Soros is a British agent, um, it's obviously not to the locality's benefit. In the system of democracy, people only know what they see, and they're only seeing what the lawyers choose for them to. And you end up in a state of suffering, and yet it's clouded in illusion so that other people do not realize the digression. They actually think that because you can go down the street and buy a, a bag of, of marijuana for three, $300 an ounce, and it's grown with um, miracle Grow, Scott's miracle Grow, because that company has seen a drastic increase in valuation of their stock since the medical marijuana started to take off in places like Colorado and Washington. And so these dispensaries are buying this chemical product to fertilize their grows. And everybody's going, hey, you know, it's cool. We're gonna buy some, you know, train wreck or, you know, some uh, whatever they sell now, you know, uh, poison, you know, green poison. And, and, and you know, get fucked up, man. You know? Well, some of us live by principle. And so, it's our time now to prepare for battle, because that's what it's going to take so that we can make people realize that they're living in a lie. Give me thanks, John.